Messed up the video. It's twice in two days. That's pretty bad. Man. Anyway, hey, what's up, y'all? It's summer outside, apparently, so I stopped and got me a 12-year-old's drink. Because it could. All right, we'll name the game. Get all this set up. All right, this is supposed to be fun. Okay, so make sure that y'all are having fun with this. Uh, how this works. So I started this originally on Twitter, just grabbing pictures off of BGG, and then from there uh, saying, hey, apparently somebody's by the front door, Cooper saying hello. I uh, just play a little game. Can you figure out what game it is by the picture that I chose? Now, I did grab all these pictures off of BGG, credited everybody with them. Uh, there's 40 something of them. I don't know exactly how many. Uh, it does not matter how many you get right. But here's how this is going to work for the game giveaways. So I have uh, Crusaders uh, Deluxe Edition. I have some stuff from Capstone. I got, a, I got like a dozen giveaways. So we're going to do about a dozen of these. Okay. All right. Uh, Clearly, Cooper is excited about this. So, here's how this works. You send an email to contact at heavycardboard.com. The title will be uh, NTG Giveaway. And then you have to tell me how many you got right and whichever shorter. How many you got wrong, or what ones you got wrong, or which ones you got right. Because you're not allowed to send an email until this is done, because timestamps, that will tell me that. And uh, you have through 11.59 p.m. Sunday night. So this is, what, Tuesday afternoon? So you have like five days to be able to watch this. I think that's reasonable. And then I will contact folks on Monday. Seems like a pretty good thing. Okay. Uh, all the winners will be drawn at random, and we'll figure out what games you're going to get at that point. I got a stack. All right, so easy enough. So if you send me an email before this is over, I know you're just making stuff up. It's just going to get trashed. Keep that in mind. Have fun with this. It doesn't matter. If you get everyone right, awesome, cool. You're probably better than I would be at this, and I know the answers. Uh, and if you get, like, one right, okay, cool. You got more games to explore and find out about. So the rules on this, as far as how I chose these. Ones, uh, I chose games that I think are at least willing, you know, that should be tried. And uh, definitely recommend checking out. Um, there are not too many really obscure. I think there are, there are no, like, straight war games in this. There are some, like, hybrid war game ones in this. And I tried to make it choose pictures without any or very little custom components in there. There you go, right? Uh, yeah. All right. The email address is contact at heavycardboard.com and the subject line is uh, NTG. So name that game, right? Just the letters NTG giveaway. That's it. That's all I want in the subject. Makes it really easy for me to search. Okay? So if you can't follow those directions, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay? There we go. Cool? I would wait a couple hours, Rainer. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get into it. Now, I, I still have to finish the ordering on things, so we're going to talk together. The chat will not be on screen for this. Okay, so blurt out your answers as much as you want. I want to see if I fool you or uh, stump you guys on any of these. I think usually it's, it's a couple I'm able to, um, so we'll see how it works. Okay? All right? Cool. Oh, good call, Stray. Uh, yeah, Clinic, uh, Spatial. That's another one for me. Good call. All right. 
Yeah, hey, there we go. All right, so now I have to mess around with ordering on these things. Like, I, I mean, I, yeah. Um, so you guys are going to have to uh, bear with me a little bit on this. This is one of the hardest things to prepare for because I have to grab the pit and then I have to bring them into this. And all right, let me look at the, okay, that, how did that end up at the bottom? That should have been at the very top. All right. Do, 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 do. See, I don't know why that happens. I really hate my software. <laughs> it probably doesn't like like 50 files on the same scene, I think is what it is. This is really interesting. Where did I go? That's really crazy. Like all this stuff has now been jacked up. So give me a second. See how this keeps messing up? <sighs> Makes no sense. Huh. I have no idea what happened. Bizarre. All right, y'all are gonna have to give me a give me a minute to figure out what happened here. All right. Well, you know what? There's a fix for this. So give me a second. Uh, the joys have everything set up, and then it doesn't work. Dee, dee, dee. <sighs> Frustrating. Get everything all nice and pretty and then it doesn't work. That'll have to do. All right, let's go ahead and start out because I'm getting frustrated with this for no re I have no idea. All right, so here we go. So if you want to just blurt out the answer, you can. Um, so I have, I have a lot to say about this game. A game that people like much more than me. Same, Shrey. Um, so, a lot of y'all are getting this one. I don't get it. To me, this is the epitome of what a license can do for a game. This is ranked number third. It's Let's put it this way. It's in the top 35. Uh, BGG. And I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why. Now, for those of you that really enjoy this game, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just, this one, this was a big miss for me. And I bet if it were themed something completely different, this would not be in the top 35 on BGG. But, wow, licenses, huh? So, yeah, I was, I was shocked when I saw this. Shocked. 
Um, yeah. I'm taking the label off here. It's getting in my way. Totally, totally shocked. And yeah. Whew. I guess uh, for the amount of money they probably had to pay for this game, I bet you they, uh, yeah, anyway, just, I don't, I don't, I don't get the appeal of this game at all. All right, well, there we go. Uh, the next one's a softball. I think the next one is about as easy as it gets today. So, there you go. Oh, cold headache. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that's unpleasant. Oh, there are certain things in life that are just miserable no matter what. Oh, it's making my eyes water. Oh, that cold headache is no joke. Mm. Oh, legitimately made my eye water. Oh. <laughs> Michael, that's funny. Uh... <laughs> Never knew how, how close feud him in this game. Uh, look, if you just see this part of the board, that is so spot on. Uh, wow, yeah. Uh, Shrey showing off now in chat. And, uh, oh God, that brain freeze was no joke. If you're lagging a little behind, hit refresh. That'll bring you up current, okay? Oh, that was that was miserable. Whew. No, it's not tongue on the roof of your mouth. That's a wives' tale. If you try and put your hands on your uh, arteries, um, it'll help warm the blood a little bit, and that's what's causing it to, because cold down here goes up to your head. Anyway, but yeah. All right, well, I, I, I think you all got the gimme pretty good. Uh, this next one's not too much harder, I don't think. There you go. Some, uh, I will say this, that there is a company that this game is by that really needs to work on their photo game. Just saying. Yup. Really bad. Have a good one, Luke. Take care. Oh, I disagree with you there, JT. But hey, you, uh, you have the right to be wrong. That's okay. That's all right. And Kiesel, it's very different, but feels like a sibling game. Ah, I appreciate the compliment, Mrs. Playing Watch. Was a good stream to uh, uh, to watch. Okay. All right. Well, y'all are uh, y'all are. 
for the most part, doing pretty well. So, all right, let's see what the next one will be. Do I want to go in your order? Uh, no. That one, I think, is, again, we're starting pretty easy here, I think. Worth having both. I think so, um, but I would definitely recommend trying both first. Kiesel. Christos, that's the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, Age of Steam map. I have that. <laughs> really is a nice rabbit, isn't it? And creepy as well. Yes, I agree with both of those. Pink killer bunny for sale. Yes. Nailed it. Have a good one, Elk. You know, she could, you could spend time together playing this together, Elk. I'm just saying. Uh, I definitely recommend playing that. I, I really like this game. I really like it solo as well. Okay. Hey, what's up, Greg? Goose, what's up? All right, y'all, like I said, this is this is starting pretty easy, I think. Okay, all right, let's, let's move on. This is the easier of the two pictures for this game that I was going to use, I will say. Uh, there was one that somebody's like, wow, this could be confused with a war game. It was the, it, it was so spot, I thought that, but I thought that'd be mean. Plus, I want to try and show the games off in a good light, right? Plural, Michael. <laughs> now I want to go read Watership Down. I think this is a... This game that's up there right now, in my opinion, is one of the very, very best uh, intro games for uh, shared investing. I think that's really good, actually. Just realized that, that is messed up now too. Nope, it's that one, isn't it? It is. Okay, so that's got to get all the way up. Really, never even heard of this JT. This is this is a good one. It's, I mean, it's it's older, uh, and I think uh, falls in the classic line. I think this is a good. Uh, shared in, uh, sh shared investing uh, game, a good jumping off point. I really do. Oh, I like that, Family McManus. That's clever. Yeah, this is a really, really good light midweight game. I think. There. Uh, okay, drop that down one. There we go. And, all right, I will fix that at the bottom here in a moment. So here, let's get the next one going for y'all. Let's see. Next one is going to be a little bit harder. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit harder, probably. What's up, Cray? Did it! Did it! I tried. Sometimes I miss that, Rainer. I like that, Robert.
This one just got a new addition. A really, really fancy, nice addition on this one. Challenging theme, the board game. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Tor was the first to get this one right. The new American Underground got it shortly thereafter. Right, Fernando? Uh, components on this game are stellar. Stellar. Legitimate on the new version of it, okay? Y'all did get it. So, so the Tor and uh, and NA Underground and Tony saved y'all, it looks like. All right. Next one is just really pretty. And well done, in my opinion, too. I think that's really well done. And that last one you're going to see on the show, uh, hopefully in the next month or two. Now, obviously, this is just the components of the game, right? Doesn't have the board. But, oh, you know what I just realized? This really isn't. It's more the theme. I just realized I screwed that up. This, I'm going to give you all this one. Uh, Martha got it. So, yeah, I, I just, you know what, some of the components are used in that game, but not all of them, and I just realized it. I have failed you all on this one. But that is a spot-on theme. That's really pretty, too. And I think it is from the calendar, yeah. So, yeah, ah, I apologize. But Martha did get it. All right, let's move on since I, I dropped the ball on that. I saw some of the components, so I was just like, oh, it's just the, good. nope, I screwed that up. Uh, all right. There we go. It's not the picture I wanted to use, but there weren't a whole lot of uh, great options, so I thought this was pretty good. It's a board game version of a card game, of a board game of a card game. <laughs> David also correct. <laughs>
I mean, it does feel like the game that it's based on, right? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Seems uh, this has been mostly pretty easy for you all so far. Except for the one mess up and, and one struggle. One of the best recent card games I've played. Legitimately. This is one of my faves. I really like this. It is a big box, Felix. That's true on that last one. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> At first, I wanted to say Uno. You know, that first card, fair. <laughs> Thank you, Rainer. <laughs> Emma, gosh, y'all are fast. If, if y'all don't want to see the answers, then uh, uh, you can always, you know, that's why it's on screen here. I don't have the chat. So you can always, uh, you know, cover that with like a uh, post-it or something on the chat down below or to the side, wherever it is, y'all have your, uh, your chat. William, how's that possible? Um, internet faster and, uh, yeah, just, uh, you can always hit one and a half speed or double speed if that helps. All right, looks like y'all nailed this one pretty well. Good job, good job. Uh, okay, next couple are gonna be uh, gimmies. I think, anyways. Look, I know it's candy, but it's tasty, all right? And good, Michael, that's the point, right? And hopefully this turns you all on to game, you know, for games that you don't know that you're able to uh, investigate and see if this is something you'd be interested in. Not all of these will we have streamed or, or anything like that, but. Uh, y'all are, y'all are trying hard. Peaky Blinders meets There Will Be Blood. Board Games Book and what? Uh, books, you can go watch our stream of this not too long ago, actually. Uh, no, Kiesel. This is a really, really good, clever auction game with some resource conversion, and that's it. I mean, it's stripped down and really streamlined.
definitely recommend checking this one out for sure. Uh, the next one, since you all seem to be uh, uh, nailing this, Uh, the next one is another underrated overlooked game that I had to edit the name out of <laughs> on this. And the picture is a little dark, uh, artistic license, or but I really like this game. Especially the second edition, which is what this is. Mission accomplished then, Nick. Says, so far there are three I don't know and two I need to know now. Good. <laughs> well played, Gusarino. Rainer. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, now we're now we're on to just black tea. I don't know Tor. I don't know that. And yeah, this is also really excellent solo. Good call. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, for those of y'all that have answered, is there an online implementation of this game? I don't know if there is. <laughs> have a good meeting, New American Underground. Well, it gives you uh, games to look up, Lori. That's good. All right. All right, let's move on. Let's see, where are we? I gotta be careful on this one, just because of the way my software. Uh, this next one, I haven't played, don't own yet, but I've heard mostly good things of, and one I need to check out. All right, so. Yeah. See, I wouldn't have gotten this one if I didn't know what it was. But clearly, y'all seem to have a pretty good, uh... Oh, Trey. Uh, the last one is apparently on Yakata. Online implementation. The previous one that we had mentioned. Thanks, Trey. Oh, that's funny. So, my eyes hurt. So gorgeous. Back-to-back -back comments. I, I find that amusing. No, I'm saying if I hadn't picked the picture. Like, if I didn't know what this is, I, I wouldn't have... You know what I mean, Rainer. Yeah, I definitely... This is one I, I keep saying I want to play. I need to get a copy of this to check out. <laughs> Tony, I hope not. Well, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll, we'll see how Michael does on these next couple, because this is about to ramp up considerably. I think, anyways. All right, so it seems you all nailed that one pretty well. I 
I think like folks that like uh you know obscure weird games will get this one, but I I imagine the majority of y'all will not get this. I've had this for a while and need to play it. I love seeing the directions y'all go with these. Same, Tristan. I'm waiting for Rand to come around and we can do that. Yeah. It does look like a roll and move, doesn't it? Scott says, uh, I kind of want to play this one again, but wasn't super into it my first play, so not a priority. <laughs> so it seems, I don't know, maybe a quarter of y'all got this one. All right. Like I said, notice Michael wasn't first on this one. <laughs> uh, this next one may be tougher for y'all. Y'all see that rip right there, the rest in peace uh, in the middle, bottom right there, kind of? That's where I imagine most of y'all are going to live on this one. Sort of, Shrey, sort of, but it's kind of obscured, so I was hoping nobody would point it out, but I should know better. Not a challenging theme on this one. This is about mining. I don't I don't think so though. Hey Michael. It is paper money. Now, I do I mine's sitting right over there. My question for y'all that know this one, should I stream this solo? I think it's obscured enough, thank you very much. I actually, I was aware of this one, but thought I could get away with it. Tinner's Trail, Go West edition, right. Exactly, Genway. Better multiplayer, okay, okay. Because this is one that I keep thinking about doing, but just the, the overhead on this, I, I didn't know if it made it worth it or not. All right. For those that weren't cheating, it was tougher. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's see. Where do we go next? Next one, I think will be pretty easy for y'all.
Remember you said that, Kiesel. Kiesel says, too easy. Wow. Okay. Yes, Michael. You're welcome, Bart. Oh, damn it. Ah, hey, Bernardo. I missed that. God, I try. I try on these. Oh, well. Well, like I said, it was going to be a gimme. Yeah, excellent solo game right here. <laughs> it's not all in there, I would just like to say. Okay. Just saying. All right, fine. Yeah, the next couple will be pretty easy. I think that one's pretty easy. I think. Uh, I would say on par, Kiesel. Both are excellent. Both are legitimately excellent. No, we haven't done this multiplayer yet, uh, but it is uh, it is on the docket. Enjoyed it solo though. Oh, some of the spellings y'all have for this one are pretty good. I will say the designer is still trying to match uh, Shipyard. Still think is his best game. Oh, Bart says multiplayer is much better than solo. Okay. All right. Well, y'all mostly got that one. I think this one is a gimme. If you're a fan of the show, I think it's a gimme. You have the right to be wrong, Shrey. It's okay. That's all, all good. All good. This has an excellent solo. This is great multiplayer. It's great solo. Really legitimately top 10 for sure solo. Possibly top 5 solo. Oh, be careful, Greg. Tornado warning in rural Ontario. Be careful, eh? It does not, uh, books and what, but it's still a fantastic game. Uh, 
my impression when I first saw or heard about this was that it was a children's game. The theme is, but the game is not. This is very. This is definitely a uh, medium to uh, or medium heavy to heavy euro right here. Oh, Chicago getting hammered too. Y'all be careful out there. <laughs> Weather report in Ontario. We're sorry there may be a tornado, eh? Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, 3.8 weight for a euro out of five on BGG. It might be a little high, but it's definitely heavier than you would think from the artwork and the theme. And like I said, the solo on this is really good. All right. Well, at least we tripped some of y'all up there. Oh, and apparently I, I, I did throw in one more game. There it is. <laughs> I forgot about this one. This is, this is legit war game. It's not a hex encounter war game, but war game nonetheless. Bart, I, I promise you, you missed out on that. You should try and hunt that one down. Oh, good. 0 for 4. Well, then they all came in. Clearly, PPK. No, Scott. Dudes on a map, Olus. Yes, that is true, Tor. Without the minis, it could have been hands in the sea. That is true because a uh, very similar map. You're right. So, who was the first one to get this one? Butchered the spelling, Yorick, but Yorick. Yep. And technically, Michael is the first to get the actual full name of it. <laughs> Malwinius Serrano Olfram from York. Uh, you forgot the and in between, but yes. <laughs> All right, all right. So let's see. How's everybody doing? Anybody get all of these so far? Not the boy band. Yes. <laughs> Emma. Hey, you don't have to be first. It's not the goal here. One of two things. Do your best to guess. And if not, try, when you see what it is, maybe uh, if it looks interesting to you, you, figure, you go to check it out.
So by the way, the, uh, the expansion for this was play tested at the gathering, I've been told. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, no, the, the expansion is still a little ways away. They still got to work on some stuff, I was told. But, uh, but probably next year. I really enjoyed this game a lot. Yes, uh, solo mode with the expansion. Last I heard, yes. But again, it's they're, they're, they got some feedback and need to tweak some stuff in it, but that's what playtesting's for, right? So that's a positive I see. Yo, dog, I hear you like dice placement. Apparently, good uh, edition of the last game on uh, Board Game Arena. <laughs> the sufficiency of dice, the dice game, yes. I'm terrible at this game. I mean, really bad. Like, the only game I think I'm worse at than this is Race for the Galaxy, New Frontiers, all that. But they're, they're neck and neck for what I'm terrible at. I enjoy terrible. A dice, pl uh, a dice game where you don't roll the dice. It's the best kind of dice game. Obviously. Yeah, you don't roll a single one of these. Have a good one, Michael. Thank you for getting off the Wi-Fi now. Everybody else has a chance. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, I think this game definitely, uh, we streamed this relatively recently. Uh, talked about definitely need a new edition of this. Okay. This next one, I'm going to say over under two and a half of y'all get this. No cheating. This was sent to me as a gift. I've yet to get it to the table, but I really want to. Nope. 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 So far, nobody. All right. <laughs> Not down for us, and so I am out. I've heard that this is an excellent, if not the best, race game. Yet to play it. I want to, but nope, nobody's, oh, I, I, I may, I may win this one. Nobody. 
sitting right there. I don't think this was reprinted, no. If y'all want me to write what this is in there. Oh, Richard saves the day. All right, so Richard and Chariton. And Shrey, how did y'all find that? Did you know it or did you look it up? Uh, be honest. Be honest. Man, I thought I had that one, actually. I didn't... Well, if Murr was here, Murr, Murr actually gifted this one to me. If he was in here... He would have gotten this. So, ah, drats. Ah, okay. All right. Well, I appreciate the honesty, Shrey. Oh, okay. All right. Have you uh, have you played this, Richard? And thoughts on it? If so. Because I've heard really good things about this for a race game. All right. Oh, okay. So apparently a reprint's coming. Cool. This is about as big of a softball as I can give right now. Yes, Murr is still on his streak of like five straight years of playing a board game every day. It's unbelievable. Have you played it, Chariton? And do you like it? Okay, Richard, cool. The next few are going to be pretty easy, I think, for a lot of y'all. Scott, nailed it. <laughs> that is true. Oh, no. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> We're about halfway, give or take a few. This really is an excellent game. The graphic or the artwork needs work. Not so much the graphic design. The graphic design is actually pretty great. Uh, just the just the artwork. Really, really good game though. And there were a bunch of cheap copies. I don't know if there are anymore, but there were. Curious, are there any on BGG? I'm looking that up now. There are some overseas that are still relatively cheap, I think. Oh yeah, there's there's a little bit. Yeah, there's still. There's one domestic. That's it. Okay. Very realistic, not a short game. Okay, yeah, that's basically what I've heard, that it's, it's, it's really good, but, I mean, short, I don't need. Yeah, this was dirt cheap. Sorry about that. Uh, 
the fact that it's not. All right, next one is one of my most anticipated games to play. Have a good night, Steph. Thanks for hanging out earlier and today uh, and now. Right, Void? Nope, Kiesel? Alright, Shrey, we need to make this happen. A different Michael was first on this one. We kicked the other one out. Yeah, I definitely really want to play this really bad. Is that true, Rocky? Really, Michael? Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, it seems the majority of y'all got that one. Uh, speaking of softballs, this is about as easy as it's going to get. It's a pretty picture, though. I mean, of course it is. It's Hank Rollman. I mean, Demon Blaze is more fun. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't play Churchill ever again, which is a bummer, but that's all right. And the reason I can't play Churchill is I beat Jess and Mark Herman in the same game. <laughs> Retired. Done. Yep, my bad. All right. <laughs> Shrey. <laughs> right? Seriously, York, that'll teach him. Oh. Andrew, cheers. Thanks for the support. Thank you for that. On that note, actually, we did get one other. That was, uh, right. So earlier today, Jay, cheers. Thank you for the support as well. Thank you. Yes, I guess so, Rainer. All right, that was that was a gimme. Like I said, this next one will be as well, but man, it sure is pretty, ain't it?
Yeah, I haven't yet, Scott, but that may happen. I'll, I'll have to take all the pictures myself, but that may happen. There were some that had a nice wash on the pieces, but I didn't want anybody who didn't know the game to expect that it looked like that. So. The don't get tangled up in a mess in Afghanistan, the game. You would have thought that, like, Soviet Union would have learned that. The U.S. would have learned. No. Yep, my bad, Felix. I didn't take the picture. Oh, Jess would love that. We should do that, Shrey. All right, that was that was a gimme. This next one I think will be as well, but that's all right. It's pretty. And it's a really good game. There's a dog in, I believe it's Ohio, it's named for this game. Because it's a middle-sized dog. Medium. Solid medium-sized dog. <laughs> Nick, I just bought this an hour ago. Well, there you go. You are correct, PPK. Uh, this edition, it includes uh, the jewelry expansion and a couple of the other promos, and it has a solo, so that would be the difference. Enjoyed the solo on this, too. It's tough. You messed that up, Rocky. People dressing fancy for no good reason. Uh, who was it? It's, uh, who, who is the king? It's King Louis, the 14, I forget who this is, so. <laughs> careful, Tony, careful. Yeah, uh, Louis the Fifteenth. All right, my bad, my bad. Uh, all right, this next one is an upcoming release, which might be cheating a little. This is a prototype. So be it. It's my game. I'm allowed to do that. Nope, no word on that, Scott. I have not heard anything. I'm not surprised that so many of y'all are getting this, but I still kind of am. 
We'll be doing a stream of this uh, on release day, tentatively scheduled. I forget you can subscribe to things on BGG, that's right. Okay. Yep, Goose. All right. And uh, while we're talking about unreleased games, since y'all mostly got that one, it seems. Uh, let's go ahead and go with one more um, that is soon to be released. It's really kind of a cheater picture, I realize, but that's all right. You have to say it with confidence, Eric. See, like Red Eye Ghost, confidence. And I would argue Genway was the first to get the full title. Streaming this one next week, actually. I didn't know Rainer was going to be here, I will say, but... Whatever, Rainer. Don't be difficult. Correct, Kiesel. All right, all right, all right. Enough with the uh, enough with those. Um, I imagine this is going to be a gimme, but maybe not. If y'all haven't been watching streams, then maybe it won't be a gimme. Don't think I haven't considered that, Yorick. Possibly his first best, Shrey. I did. I did. I really want to know who the hell the publisher is for this one, for the new edition that's supposedly coming for this. I really want to know. It drives me nuts, though, that the uh, distributors are standing up and not laying down, driving me batty, and that the two uh, cylinders are stacked on top of one another. You can't tell from top down. Terrible. Yes, Gusarino. I mean, if it were Speedy Gonzalez or like, you know, little Hanna-Barbera Snagopus, I'd be okay with that. All right, all right, all right.
This is technically a 3D render, but I couldn't find any good pictures that aren't a 3D render of it right now, so sorry. Yeah, I did not like that game, Ed. Heaven's the Murgatroy. Exit stage right even. Clearly, Eric's tapping into the Wi-Fi now. We're just not making you happy today, are we, Kiesel? I'm sorry. Need a hug? Come here. Bring it in. Let's hug. Let's hug it out. Come here. Thank you, Scott. I I can't do many. That's one that I, that's about the extent of it, but that I can do pretty decent. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, I just. I just picked games. Like it wasn't, there was no theme on this, so. Plus, I've done so many, it's hard to keep them uh, trying to adding new ones, right? All right, seems you all nailed that one pretty well, even though it's still uh, coming, I guess, but. This one's a bit tougher. Again, really hard to get a picture of this without the name in it, with the entire name. Zip it. I actually covered that pretty extensively, Chad, in the uh, Ask the Elephant today. Uh, not immediately, but yes. Good. I'm glad to hear y'all are having a good time with this. I think it is, Shrey. <laughs> um... I would, this was one of the more pleasant surprises I've had in the last year or so, uh, game-wise. This, I was really, really impressed with this one. All good, Chad. We could we could maybe do that, John. Like I, I might do just an Age of Steam map, but that I, I think that would be comical and not a lot of fun. It'd be humorous at first, but then it wouldn't. But honestly, I do have most of these games. Most, not all, but most. Yeah, this is good at pretty much every player count, including solo. All right, y'all seem to have nailed this one. This one's going to be tougher. Um, really underrated game, I think. I remember really enjoying this one, and I haven't played it in a while, and I want to. It's a hard game, though. Who 
asked that? William, I didn't notice she was gone. She's hiding. She's got, she was shy. She has made a triumphant return. There we go. Let's fix that now. That's too far back. There we go. Hi, guys. Hi, Coop. <laughs> Sorry, Banker Dave. Right, Robert? <laughs> You're welcome. Wow, so no, okay, so Shrey knows it, but because he's local and has heard me talk about it. It is not Urban Sprawl. Wow, so, so far nobody has said it. This is one that I definitely want to play sooner rather than later, again, and, sh and stream it. We've never streamed this, I'm pretty sure. That shocks me that Rado covered this. A, it can be really mean, and B, this is, this is way heavier than you would think. Huh. See, and that's what, that's part of what, uh, when I choose pictures, I do the best I can to try and show, like, make the game look compelling and interesting. All right, Trey, go ahead. Okay, all right, well, mostly stump jaw. I'll take that. I'll take that as a W, sort of. Uh, all right, let's see. Well, since that was hard, we'll go easy. There you go. It seems the majority have gotten this one. So 
Sorry, I'm having to uh, give a recipe to somebody that is currently camping right now, so I apologize. All right, well, stay safe, Eric. Uh, yeah, um, we're actually going to be doing the Star Trek version of this. Oh, and by we, I mean this guy as a solo soon. All right, seems you all nailed that one pretty well. Uh, all right, another easy one if you're a fan of the channel. How's that? <laughs> Just grill it covers everything Jed said. Something with tea. <laughs> I don't know what number this is. I do not. All right, apparently this is 35. I was going to show a tortoise shell, but that seemed too obvious. And I thought this was a pretty picture that they put up here. It is. It just plays such a minor part that this is somewhat misleading, but I thought it was a clever picture, so. Okay, so it's somewhere between 33 and 35. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, this was a gimme, I thought. That's funny, Rainer. Yeah, I think Rainer would really enjoy this as well. I think a lot of people would really enjoy this. I think it was a really good game. <laughs> hey, I'm all for helping you out, Nick. All right? Eric, wah, wah, wah. Is the emphasis on the second letter, Goose? You got there, Martha. I thought this would be a, a nice kind of palate cleanser uh, before we make it tougher on the next one. All right, seems you all did really well, so enjoy.
It was this close to getting this game reprinted. Production costs were going to be too high. This is a clever, clever game right here. What's up, Alessandro? Where in Italy? Uh, I will say that, uh, let's see, I think it was Eric got this one. And to a lesser degree, Tony did, but yeah. I so think this is a clever, clever little game right here. You can scroll up and go see what Eric said. He got it. It's a hard one to get a hold of, I think. Let me see if it still is. Are copies available? Nope. Nothing available. Goes for between 70 and 100 bucks when it is available, it seems. Or about 100 bucks lately. Huh. Okay. Nope. Not a dexterity game. This is very much a strategy uh, game, yeah. Yeah, Eric is right. There's so much interplay between the players. Even when you're not actively playing. That is a true statement on this one. Um, I have wanted to stream this. Uh... Yeah, we might we might we might try and figure out a way to do that. So, all right. This next one I think would be pretty easy for a lot of y'all. I think this game does the very best job of meshing theme and mechanisms. Martha Leader in the clubhouse. <laughs> Tony, what's the graffiti? Shrey, poke, poke. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I imagine there are probably some production delays or shipping delays possibly, but it was supposed to be available uh, last month or this month here in the States and overseas soon, so for this one. Uh... It was Johnny Depp and the, the uh, cologne. October, November, Eric saying, okay, like I said, everything's going to be slow right now. 
I've been hearing that uh, paper uh, shortages are happening, and so and the shipping costs are outrageous right now, like staggeringly big shipping costs. <laughs> Sauvage. <laughs> Uh, 88 day delay on getting the container from, uh, from a China, Chinese port. Yeah. Sounds about right. All right. Y'all got that one pretty good. A real time game that made me a fan of a real time game. And I don't like real time games. This one, I was blown away at how much I enjoyed this. The timer is so key to this game, having a timer. It is so important, but it is so good. Hey, Renee. Nah, it was only partial. I thought that was okay. I thought, I, I thought this one was okay. <laughs> right, Rainer? Shipping costs are up? Really? Logistics issues? I hadn't noticed. Uh, it does not say that. Oh, does it? Ah, uh, I just noticed. Ah, uh, I saw part of it. I didn't see the other part. Oh, well. Yeah, this is this was such a good solo experience. This was so good. But the timer and having it real time is so important. And I really didn't think I was going to like it and absolutely loved it. Really pleasantly surprised by this one. And apparently there's a newer version like a a like a uh, sequel to this game. Coming out. I don't, I don't, somebody tell me the name because I can't remember it. Yeah, I knew that part was there, Genway, but not the other part of it. Like, I'm looking at it and I still can't make it out, so I'm, I'm okay with it. I might do another playthrough of this just because I had such a such a really good time with this. Brianna says we bought it after your stream. Did you have you enjoyed it? Does anybody remember what the the sequel to this game is supposed to be? Because I they were saying that that one's going to be even better. I cannot for the life of me remember this one, but y'all nailed that one. All right, let's keep going softball. There you go. Good. Very cool. All right, good to know, Andreas. Thanks for that. I don't know, Shrey, is that it? I, I can't remember. <laughs> pew, pew, the game, yes. Uh, the last one, Martin, said uh, was hard to get after the stream. Sorry about that. Yes, even though it's a tower defense game, yes, I enjoyed it. Okay, so yeah, Shrey, you were right. Okay. Be safe, Rocky. <laughs> Thanks. 
Oh, is there? That's funny, Scott. That is not this one. This was originally a uh, a uh, nine card print and play, I believe. Got picked up by the publisher and and turned into a uh, pretty big bigger game. The amount of game that is in this box, I was surprised at. So that was good. All right, seems y'all nailed that one. I like this picture. I, I thought that was a really good picture of this. And man, this is such another really, really good game. Uh, you really want to play this five players, though. The one that's pictured right now. All right, John. <laughs> Is it Charton? Is that how you say it? But Charton was the first. Was correct. This is such a good five-player game. Really good. Yeah, we need to get Rand up here, Shrey. I imagine this one's probably hard to get as well. Still, unfortunately, this is one, if so, I don't think this ever got a American, did it? I don't think this ever got a uh, U.S. distribution. Oh, wow. Wow. Looking at the prices on this. Don't pay that. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, this desperately needs a, a new vi uh, version. Oh. Hold on. Well, nine months ago, Ares Games said that there was a reprint coming. Maybe in time for Spiel is what they're saying, but we'll see. This one needs one. Have a good one, Thomas. Uh, let's see. There is one U.S. based one that's 110 bucks, and then I'm seeing like 79 and 74 euros. 60 Canadian for the Chinese edition, but yeah, it's all German. It, it, there's no, there's no, uh, no English edition of it. The, there needs to be one. There really needs to be. Really good game. Okay. All right, let's see where else uh, where are we? Let's move on. Well, next 3 should be pretty easy, I think. Yes, Kiesel, that is definitely going to happen when we can get five of us in here. Hopefully including Rand, that'd be cool.
I wasn't going to comment, but in here, Goose. I've heard really good things. People asked about this today, about uh, me doing solo on this one. We are getting dangerously close to being done. Yeah, I, uh, I, I too, I need to get a copy of this to stream it. But all right, seems y'all nailed that one pretty well. I look pretty well. I couldn't see the name of the game in this one, at least. So there's that. It's not the great, most flattering picture, but I wanted to get the, uh, the two layer boards in here to be able to show that off. Some people say this is their all time favorite two player game. Emma nailed it. I'm imagining Emma like right here. I'm gonna get one. Boom, got it. Done. <laughs> Mic drop. Well done. <laughs> uh, no, this this version of the game drops that goose. Ah, Emma barely beat Brianna. Well done, y'all. Well done. Martin, that might that might happen. All right. Not that it's important, but it feels good. I got you. Uh, that game is actually this is a this is technically the third edition of this game. The first one was Mercury Games, or was that the second one? But this is the third. And very much want to get this streamed as well. Scott, I got this about 30 minutes ago. Nope, there is there are two more. I might have to get a third, because I think I can finish stronger than that. But y'all nailed that. Oh, Scott, I now got what you meant. You nailed, yes, that's funny. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I caught that. All right, we got uh, two, maybe three more. We'll see. But I think this is going to be a softball. At, uh, maybe not. Because that picture, I intentionally made this one difficult because it, otherwise it would legitimately be a softball. This, yeah, the picture makes it more difficult than it is. You're welcome, Shrey. I am such not the right I, I I this game just never grabbed me. Wow, y'all have nailed this. Okay, it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would. I've done some really good stuff on these previous ones. I may go a few more. I'm going back into the archives a little. Yeah, I, yeah, the angle, having it low to the board like that does make it hard, but...
Yeah, I'm so, I, this game just never grabbed me. All right, so the last one that I have staged and ready. Also, uh, to be clear, this is the Polish version because all the English version pictures were, eh. so there you go. You all seem to have gotten this one pretty well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back into the archives and add a few others. And I apologize, these, these are not credited. I, I wasn't planning on this one, so I'm sorry. Uh, All right, so now we're just going to drag some in because I'm not ready to stop. And this next one's fun. There. It's such a fun picture. I like that. There you go. There's not any in this one so far, Kiesel. Hi, y'all. Y'all nailed that one. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay. <sighs> yep, y'all are right. All right, let's see. Having played this one, ah, there we go. That'll work. Uh, somewhat recently, I, I, I was surprised at how much I really enjoyed this. Okay, so I guess I did credit some of these. All right. We'll do three more. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one as well. Oh, yeah, the round marker. I don't think it was intentionally supposed to be that big. I don't know best player count. I know I really enjoyed it with four, I think at three, and I don't know if I played that at two, the one that's currently up there.
All right. So three more after this, all right. This turned me on to a bit of a uh, history that I didn't know about. I thought this was really, really a really good game. Still working on the recipe stuff. Yeah, really like this game. Y'all, it seems y'all nailed this one pretty good. Okay. Well, while we're talking about uh, underrated games here that uh, nobody else seems to really talk about or know, it's ugly as sin, but good God, and it's fiddly, but God, do I love this game. It's just stew, but it's a vegan stew, and I'm... So... That's all. Nope, Eric. This is one that, as long as you don't mind it looking the way it does and fiddly, I can strongly recommend people hunt this one down. Oh, I got the last two. Oh, two really good games. Yeah, uh, good ones to uh, end on. I like it. We've already done that, uh, Cammy. so nope. All right, so it seems a number of y'all got this. Arguably the best three-player only game. All good, Cammy. all good. Yeah, it really is, Emma. <laughs> nope, Michael. Nope, Kiesel.
All right, well, y'all nailed that one. I mean, I, as much as I've raved about this in the past. All right, last one for today. Definitely uh, really, really good at five, this one. Um, there you go. You are correct, Vincent. Or at least review copy, yes. Is this one getting a reprint E? I don't know. I haven't heard anything if it is. Uh, this is a, this one is can be really nasty. This one is getting a reprint? Okay, cool. Again, Rado did this. A, not the best two player, and really, as mean as this, that, sh that surprises me. Wow. We've streamed this. I'm pretty sure we streamed this. Oh, this was, this is good. So. All right. Oh, all right. That was fun. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. So hopefully, uh, hopefully y'all had fun and that was a good way to, uh, spend a Tuesday afternoon. So thanks y'all for hanging out. Don't forget, you can send an email to contact at heavycardboard.com and send me a email if you want to enter the giveaway, uh, N- TG, so name, name that game, but just the first letters, November, Tango, Golf, uh, giveaway. Tell me how many you got and whichever is the shorter list, what, what ones you got right or which ones you got wrong. Up to you. And uh, yeah, and how many you got out of how many we did. And you have until midnight, essentially, but 11.59 p.m. Sunday night. That way it keeps it clear going into Monday. And uh, I'll contact uh, some winners on Monday and see if we can get some games shipped out. Uh, I'll pay free. Uh, I'll pay shipping to the U.S. international. We'll talk about it and we'll see we'll see what we can work out. All right. That was yeah. That was a good time. Thanks, y'all. Uh, that's it for the week. This week uh, gonna be up camping this weekend, uh, possibly for the last time uh, for the year. And so. Yeah, I will see you all for the weekly look ahead. Be sure to go listen to the podcast. If you haven't, uh, check out Beyond Solitaire, uh, Liz Davidson's um, both YouTube channel and uh, podcast as well. We simultaneously released it over there. And yeah, it was us talking, teaching games. So thanks, everybody. Like, subscribe, support the show. There we go. Patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Certainly appreciate it, y'all. That was fun. Uh, that was five streams in the last two days. I'm pretty spent. Um, I need to go take care of some dogs and finish the recipe stuff and, uh, yeah, get some food myself. So be kind to one another. Stay safe because apparently there's some pretty crazy weather out there today. So be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And I will see you all next week for the weekly look ahead. Take care, y'all. Oh, that, that, that right there is the four player version of God's Playground. Um, and be, I've done one, uh, I've done one of the name, uh, that game ones of this. It's just a really rare game and thought I would throw it up there to maybe throw some people off uh, expecting to see that one in this week's or this months this year's whatever name the game i didn't i just wanted to throw it up there as a red herring just to have some fun with y'all i've yet to play it it's a four player god's playground i really want to it's the polish version anyway this time i'm out later y'all